Hello, welcome to a new host of my how-to video. My name's Alex. Today we're just going to go over how to SSH into a UXG Pro. So we already have a guide live on the support site for Hostify of how to SSH into a UXG Pro on both Mac, OS and Windows. Um, and it both covers how to log into the device for the very first time and also log into it once it's been adopted into a Unify controller. So in this video we're going to cover how to log into the UXG Pro for the first time using Mac and Windows and then again how to get into the yes, how to get into the device once it's been adopted, and then finding the username and password in Unify once using the legacy and the new user interface because those two bits are a bit different. So I've got a UXG Pro set up on my desk. It's been factory set. It's waiting to be set up. Um, so I'm just going to go over the guide and have a look. So it says for the UXG Pro, most device well for the Unify devices, most devices have the default username and password of UBNT and UBNT for the password for both username and password. So the UXGPRO is a little bit different. The The default username is root, and then the default password is UBNT. Um, so a terminal window open here. So what you do is you type in SSH, and then the username, so root at 192.168.1.1. Press return, ask for a password, and then the password in this case is UBNT. So once you're in, it gives you a warning. It says, welcome to the Unify gateway. Um, and then from there you can um, set do a set inform to a hostify controller using our guide which I'll put a link in the description or you can get information from it what you need you can ping ping the internet and it gets a response back so um, I'm just going to go over the Windows side just now so over on my Windows 11 uh, machine I've got set up um, all you need to do is download putty so I'll put a link in the description to a guide on how to install that um, so you can download Putty for this because there's no SSH client built into um, Windows Windows 11. So same sort of process as the Mac. You go 192.168.1.1. You don't put any username in yet. And you just press open. So it's asking to log in as. This is where you put the username. So this will be root, and then the password will be UBNT. And you get the same sort of thing. You can go from there. You can ping ping the internet if you need to. You can um, Set, do a set and form to a Hostify controller and, and you can go from there. So now I've adopted the UXG Pro into my Unify controller <clears throat> and you can see it's showing up here. So the process is a little bit different because the Unify controller overwrites the username and password for the device. So we'll just go down to our section where we said logging into the UXG Pro once it's been adopted. <clears throat> so we'll go over the, the legacy UI first. <clears throat> so let's switch our controller back to the legacy mode. <clears throat> so we're in the, we're in the uh, Unify controller, you go to devices, you can see how UXG Pro is here. So to find the username and password for SSH, you go to settings, and then go down to this section here. So you can see I've got my username and password here. So I'll do the same thing again, open up my uh, terminal window, go SSH, uh, and then this time, instead of putting root, we'll put this password in here, so this username in here at 192.168.1.1 that's going to ask for a password now, you can paste this password in and it says yes welcome to the Unify next gen gateway so that's ready to go, you can adopt it to Hostify that sort of thing, so we'll just try this from the Windows now back on our Windows 11 machine now, just got putty open to SSH into the UXG Pro um, with the set username and password from the Unify controller so we'll just type in our 192.168.1.1 address for the UXG Pro and I've got my username and password over here. So that's the username. That's the password. And you can see I'm logged into the UXG Pro. Um, thank you for watching this Hostify how-to video. If you need any help, don't hesitate to contact Hostify um, by email, phone, or by live chat on the website. Um, if you need the how-to guide for the for this video, if you look in the video description, um, you'll be able to access that there. Thank you for watching.